Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! My name is Dragon Llewellyn Fuzzbottom Jr. and these are some of my patrons! Snow Hazard, and a special thanks to my special sponsor, Lit Dragon! Let's see here, get my notes up front because notes are important. Come on notes, thank you. Let us get started! When we were last left off, I finished chapter 2! Let's go ahead and start chapter 3 now. Chapter 3, Secret Weapon of Runefost. That does not sound like a good thing. The Shining Force arrived in Bustoke, Bustoke, a town built into a mountainside. And once again, that is all that needs to be said. Okay, so we're actually starting right in the town, it looks like. That was interesting. Last chapter, we started on the world map and then entered the town. Can't go that way. Beware of falling rocks. That that would... Is that going to be a thing we're going to have to worry about? Actually, you know what would be interesting? Is if... We actually got into a battle with falling rocks, and then the rocks like fell a few spaces, and then we took our turns to dodge, and then it would be the rocks turn again, and they would fall a few spaces more. That would be interesting. Haven't I seen you before? I miss my daddy! When's he coming back? I think it's that girl from Guardiana. Well, their house was kind of ruined, so I guess it would make sense that they would move to another place. Alright, what we got here? Shops? I could use shops. Okay, items shop. Um, actually, I don't think I used any items recently. Actually, you want to know what I really need? A church. Because I've got some dead teammates. Okay, weapon shop. What do we got here? Middle sword... Power Spear, ooh, Bronze Lance, Middle Axe, and Power Staff and Steel Arrow. I think I found a Steel Arrow in a treasure chest. So, I think I only want to worry about the Power Spear and Middle Axe. I'm going to assume that the Power Spear is basically like the spear that attacks two spaces. So, I'll be replacing that. And the middle axe is just a better axe. So, let me go ahead and deal with this real quick. Alright, so... The base spear would give us an attack of 15, and is handy for attacking two spaces. The bronze lance is more powerful, but it only attacks one space. However... The power spear is more powerful than the both of them, so... It might actually be a complete replacement for both of these. I think it is a safe bet that this does, in fact, attack two spaces ahead of you. Yeah, I'm gonna make that bet. So I'll sell off the old spears and the old lances. Okay, so I apparently do want to buy at least one healing item. But anyway, in regards to the middle axe, middle sword has attack of 21, and this brings the attack up to 24. Not a huge jump, but I don't think... I don't think... Uh, I don't even know what to think. It has something to do with the small amount actually amounting to more than a small amount. By the way, we got a couple new party members last time. Somehow I completely forgot that, despite how excited I was at the time. So we got Eamon and Balbaroy who are birdmen. So I got a couple of flying characters on my team. That'll be super useful. I wonder if I can buy any particular weapons for them. By the way, I am buying the healing seed because it heals more HP than the medical herb and we're getting to a point where healing more HP is actually kind of necessary. Alright, so as it turns out, nothing in this sword, or nothing in this shop, can be equipped by Balbaroy or Aemon. 
Nothing new, that is. They, they're they stuck with the basic sword for the time being. By the way, what does FW mean? All of my characters up to this point have FW in front of their names, but Al Eamon and Valbaroy do not. Hmm. And I'm in the equipment menu. Is there... Is, does that say the same thing if I, like, go to use? Yeah. Have I reached my limit of teammates? Is that what going on? Maybe FW means that these characters are in my active team while I have to have Eamon and Balbaroy still join my team? Do I have to swap people out now? That is my point. Am I at a point where I have to swap people out? I don't even know why I'm asking. I'll probably find out in this episode as soon as I can find my base of operations. Look around and buy anything you like. I already have. Although looking around doesn't really do a whole lot of good. Oh boy, this looks like this place is gonna take a bit to explore, isn't it? My father was taken away to the quarry too. Please bring him back! Oh... So the little kid's father was kidnapped. Dragonia, Land of Dragons, Knights First, Archers to the Rear, and many more books. I'm gonna have to visit Dragonia. Okay, nothing in there. So I won't bother checking them again. Life on a Cliff, High Altitude Cookbook, and many more cliffs. Uh, any more, many more. Blah, blah. Moving on. Oh, glad I went the correct direction first. Assuming these stairs don't lead somewhere important. Please rescue my husband from the quarry. You're our only hope. How to fly, up and away, and many more books. I do not have difficulties with flying. But I'm like 30-something years old at this point. I have had plenty of years to learn how to fly. And it did take some learning. Running into trees, not especially fun. What is... What is... What? What is out here? Is this a thing? Nope, nothing unusual. There's got to be a purpose to this section out here. But not yet, I guess. Alright, uh... We're not going to worry about climbing upwards. Let's just continue downwards. My husband was taken away in the middle of building our house. It's only half done! Hopefully you finish it so that I can get to that bookcase over there. Moo, is this church? I am a master alchemist. I can make anything! Can I help you? First you must help me. To cure Xylo, I need to make Lunar Dew. But to do that, I need Moonstone. You must go to the quarry, find Moonstone, and bring it back to me. Alright, well, it sounds like something that, uh... Killed two birds with one stone. There are many books in strange languages. This one too? Yep. So, when I go to the quarry, definitely gonna wanna get the treasures from the place. Don't go this way! You'll be forced to work in the quarry with everyone else! Alright, cool. I know not to go that way yet, then. Our men were taken away to work in the quarry. All but Xylo, who's crazy. You mean the alchemist? I'm not good with remembering names. Okay, Xylo is somebody we're supposed to cure. That's, that's what I thought. But I thought Xylo was inflicted with an illness or something. No, I guess Xylo's been inflicted with... The craziness. Is this the church? Ah, here we are. Let me go ahead and revive my people. And then save. Alright. Please don't go this way. They'll punish me for letting you through. Alright, guess I'm not going that way. 
Oh, this must be a... Ah, it's uh, this place. All right, let me first look over here. Yep, sure enough. My characters, my birdmen are hanging back here. Boring! I want action! It feels good to rest. They are apparently opposites. What is their relation, by the way? Did they ever say? Are, like, are they like brothers or cousins or merely allies? Alright, time to do some character swapping, I think. After I get some advice. Use your flying friends well. Also, monks and priests gain experience by healing. Anything else? Yeah, I guess thanks for reminding me that Gong can heal. Because I was about to swap Gong out. Alright, join. Who do you wish to take? I want to take both of these guys with me. But I have to leave somebody behind. Can I leave myself behind? Without you, Dragon, who will lead the Shining Force? How about player one? Alright, well... As nice as it is having three centaurs hanging around, Arthur is clearly not up to snuff. So, I have no qualms with sending him out. As for who else... Uh, don't know. Let's see here. Gord is useful. He's got some good defense. Luke is strong. Henri, I... Well, she keeps dying. But I really do want to raise the second mage. Tao is my primary mage. Lu? My primary healer, Chris is a dog, and we furries stand together. Gong, Hans... Well... Huh. It's not an easy choice. I think I am gonna go ahead and toss Gong out. Bye, Gong! Now, just real quick, what are the stats of my two newest characters? Uh-huh, that is, that is, in fact, what that FW is for. I don't know what it stands for specifically, but yeah. So, Amen. Hmm, not a magic user. Attack of 15, I assume that 15 is nice. By comparison... Luke has 24. Well, okay, 15 is not that nice, apparently. But still, having flying characters is going to be useful. Meanwhile, Balroy has a stronger attack. Hmm. Alright. Well, that's all I need to know. Out of curiosity, do these characters say things differently when they're in my group? Also, it slightly bothers me that we have these guys perfectly formed but there's still one space that I can't actually fill. No, wait, I can fill it. There. Now we are all perfectly aligned. Except I am marching in place faster than everybody else. I suck. I will fight until Dark Soul is defeated or I'm finished on the battlefield. Cool, cool. Leave air combat to me. No one can take me as long as I have my wings. I would really hate to lose my wings. So these characters do say different things depending on whether they're on your team or not. I'm not going to go through the effort of finding out everybody's different message though. Can I fight now? Come on, let me at that Dark Soul. Hmm... Is he ever going to be important? Because he did gain 1 MP in that last fight. Is he going to wind up learning magic? Might want to reconsider my options here. Well, you know what? I'm likely not going to start the next fight this episode, so... Let me know if I should reconsider bringing Arthur along. 
And I'll swap out one of my other centaurs. Pick me! Pick me! Come on, Dragon! No. Alright. Moving on. Hey, you look important. You have a character portrait. You're important. Talk to my mother first. Uh, Alright. I bet the mother's gonna say, bring back the husband first. I have been waiting for warriors of the Shining Force. Are you one of them? Yep. Great! You must help us. The Runefrost army took our men to dig in the quarry. They're looking for a weapon of the ancients. A laser eye. Ryan can lead you there. If Zylo were sane, he could surely help you. Alright, I talked to your mom. If you're going to the quarry to rescue the men, you can count me in. And we got another party member. Alright, gonna have to do some more swapping. I'll be at headquarters. Alright. Well, we'll get to that in a bit. I really feel sorry for Zylo. Do you want to hear about him? Yeah. The Runefrost army poured something into Zylo's drink. It made him crazy. We had to lock him up to protect ourselves. That bad, huh? The history of Bestoke, battling in the woods... Battling in the woods? That sounds like something we're gonna have to do at some point. Ooh, where is this leading? Okay... Are you Zylo? There is a bridge in the valley that connects Pistoke and Pau. The Runefrost army is gathering there, doubtless preparing an attack. Well, we're gonna have to put a stop to that. I'm gonna have to remember to come back up here later. Maybe by then that guy will have finished climbing. Or finished falling. Either way works. Oh, here's where Zylo is. Also interesting background. I'm kind of surprised it's not Parallax. Zylo is inside, but he's been driven mad. Only Lunar Dew can save him. I can't talk to him from here, huh? Ah, that's too bad. Is that it? I think I've more or less explored this town. Alright. So we got our new party member here. Come on, Dragon! Let us in on the fun! We're bored down here. We haven't even gone into a single fight since you joined. Uh, let's see here. There's a lot of chairs in here. Is every single one of these going to have another party member? Well, that's gonna make swapping characters out kind of difficult. Also, you're a centaur. How are you standing on a stool? Or sitting on a stool or whatever. Alright, I'm definitely going to want you in. Because new character, gotta have the new character. My question is, what are your stats? There you are. Level 6, attack of 21. Okay, cool. And she's already got the steel arrow. Good, that means I don't have to buy one of those. Gonna want to buy a healing seed, though. 14 HP, that's okay. She's gonna be in the back row. I am down for having long range attackers. So, let me see who I want to replace. Do I need two centaurs? Well, they're both long range attackers. So, yeah, kinda do. Hmm. This is not an easy choice, but I have an idea of who I'll want to get out. Either Gort or Luke. And I might actually say Luke. He's the highest character on my team, but Gort also has really good defense. And I think I'm gonna value defense. So, bye Luke.
All right, let's meet our new character. With me along, there is nothing to fear from flying enemies. I feel like there is a color limitation going on, by the way. Because she's got gray in her pink hair. And it's the same gray as, like, the gray on her hat and her armor there. I feel like... Oh, and the feather, too. I feel like they weren't able to add white because they ran out of colors that they were able to show on there. You're just too detailed a character, I guess. I do approve of the hair color, though. This is pretty boring. When can I get into the fight? Uh, not anytime soon. You know, I find it interesting how when you first joined the game, you acted like somebody I knew, but generally, once these characters are on your team, they're stripped entirely of their personalities. They're just soldiers you're commanding. Mind you, my character doesn't have much personality either, so there's that. Alright, I think that's pretty much it. All that's left is to head on down there to the quarry to rescue the people, but like I said, I'm not actually going to be doing that. So, let's see here. Down at the bottom of the screen is all of my patrons. And next time we're going to rescue all the men. Uh, I forget what question I asked earlier in regards to something. But, um... Yeah, somebody answer the question that I asked earlier, please, because... Oh yeah, whether Arthur will continue to be useful. Or rather, whether he will become useful. Because he's kind of weak right now. So, let me know whether I should get him back on my team. And... And then next time, if I have to, I'll get him back on my team. And then we'll fight in the quarry. I'll see you then.